What's up everyone, it's WHM Bricks here, and today we have my first room tour. So you're going to get a sneak peek at my room and how it kind of I work in it and what I do with it and what maybe I want to change in the future. I'm going to start doing these once every year, so this I guess will be our 2022 uh, and then in six months, in January or February, I'll probably do a 2023 room tour, and so on and so on. If I end up doing it six months, that'll I'll alert you about that at some point. Uh, but the only other thing I'm gonna, I want to say before we get into it is that we did change our name from WHM Brick Bros and to WHM Bricks, and that is because my brother and I were originally gonna like both talk and both do like the main part of the YouTube channel. But my brother has decided he just wants to edit and then film the video. So he's always going to be behind the camera. I just wanted to say that. Um, and then also, I've got a new microphone. So if you notice a difference, let me know in the comments down below what you think about it. Um, and without further ado, let's get straight on into it. So first of all, this is kind of my room. We have these like Japanese screens that actually divide our main room. This like main basement room. We're in the basement, by the way. Uh, it's like one big room, so we divide it in half, and so this area will be, is like the Lego area. So if you come with me right on in, uh, you just walk in through here, and then off to the side over here, when you come in, you have Fenway Park, which I was working on, uh, with pieces and that kind of thing. When I do want to work on this, I usually will move the screen out of the way and get rid of that, so I have some more space to move around it and maybe pull this table out. Fenway Park, looking the same as always. I haven't done anything on it, sadly. Uh, it's just, you know, I don't have the parts and I don't have the funding right now to do it. So, if you come over here, though, you will actually enter into the main Lego room over here. So, back here, uh, you have the main Lego room. This is it. This is where I film, I build, I do all my stuff. So the first thing I want to talk to you guys about is something I really like to have is this shelf. This is a shelving unit from Ikea. Uh, I do not know what it's called, but I use it to store all my Legos. It's got these nice little cubicles in it. And so I have this, which is a new set that I acquired from my cousin. That'll be a video coming out soon. Uh, we have the Hoth AT, ST, and all kinds of sets. So like the Millennium Falcon fits perfectly here. Some bigger sets that don't fit below are my Star Destroyer. Uh, my, uh, little, whatever you call it, Mock Eden's Light Cruiser, I never can remember that name. And then you got this little H, the ATT with a mock over here. Uh, I do have back here this orange, this little orange thing, that's my, uh, Apple HomePod. That is a speaker that me and my brother use to listen to music while we're building. It's really nice, I highly recommend it, uh, if you're looking for something really good sound quality right here. You have our light boxes. We've got two of these, one right here and one here. I set those up around my room depending where I'm working, and that way I can have better lighting. I just recently acquired them. If you're looking at getting those, I highly recommend it. They definitely improve the lighting in your videos, especially for us. Like This room is not very well lit without them, and so certain things we've done to improve that is these Christmas lights really help a lot. Um, I really like them, and they make it look very nice in here. They also uh, have all these lamps scattered around the edge right so, here. Yeah. And then what I did was I took all the lamps, and I linked it to my HomePod. And using a little device, I can control the lamps with my HomePod. So I can say, hey Siri, turn off the lights. And there go the lights. There are two lamps over here, though, that do not link to that, so I do have to do the switches, but I don't use these all the time, so that's okay. Hey Siri, turn the lights back on. And there you go again. So another reason I really just like this HomePod, it works really well, and it actually isn't listening to you like some of the other uh, home devices. It has to hear the words, hey Siri, for it to work. So that may make it a little bit more appealing to you. Now this is not an ad for Apple, it's just something that I really like and enjoy to use. So the first table over here, this is our main video table. So if we make a video, actually right here we're preparing for one. These are This is the haul video that I was talking about. Uh, and so we'll get to that a little bit later. 
I have a chair right here that I use, and then I've got one lamp. Below yes. that, the newest thing that I've started is you can pull these out, and these are all my pieces. Instead of always storing them in these bins, I've decided to sort them by color here. So you've got your gray bin. Uh, and then what, I'm, what I do is when I'm working on a moth like a moth sizely over here, I can pull out, sorry, this is end or moth sizely is over there, uh, pull out parts like these uh, to make the mock, and then I don't have to constantly like be digging through bins of random colored pieces. So, that is something I literally just finished before making this video, uh, and that was something that I really recommend because having them all in these bins is really not the best solution to your problems. Now, so this is kind of my main table. I film my videos. Like, if you ever see me doing a review, it's on this table. I just kind of like having this as a background, and then my intros and outros have this background here. I just have some random stuff stored here. A little mock that I like <laughs> of C3PO shooting at a Star Trooper. And then I keep my decal clones at the very top. Uh, kind of just because those are kind of my coolest figs. Right here is, this is kind of my table where I keep any sets that are falling apart or that I need to redo or that I'm working on. This is a set that I got from my cousin and I'm trying to build it. So that will probably show up on the channel at some point. Uh, and then also we have all my minifigures here. Uh, usually I have them back in here, but for now, right now I have them out here. So you've got your stuff from the Mandalorian and then any Mandos. First Order, any Rebellion or uh, Resistance, Separatists, Random Civilians, Blasters, Lightsabers, etc. Imperials, Republic, uh, Random Things that I can't find the rest of the minifigure, and then just random, more random stuff. Um, and so that's kind of what this table is. It's more of usually just a storage table. And then what I do here is it's not right here right now, but I put my I plug my laptop in here, use a keyboard and mouse, and this is where my brother edits all the videos. But right now I can just shove this aside, and I'm working on this. This is a smaller mock that actually I'm gonna have a video on later. Uh, this is gonna be like a Moss IZ kind of rebel base underneath. Uh, it's like in a cavern kind of thing. It'll be really cool. I can't wait to get that finished. So this these mock smaller mock projects will migrate onto this table or all the way over to this table. Uh, but other than that, it is pretty much stay over here, which is where I'm building Endor. So I've got a chair here because, you know, I like to sit down. I'm not going to stand and I don't stand and work a lot. Uh, but you have the mock, so you, you probably recognize this setting. Like whenever I film a YouTube video for Endor, this is the setting right here. So you have your... The main part that I've been working on, this is something new that will come in the next update, so that's kind of a sneak peek into that. Uh, this is where I have the other half of the mock, and then I have this here because I'm going to need to be talking about that. And then I have all my parts usually laid out here. Um, and so that's kind of the basic premise. And then behind that, you're back at the shelving with all the sets here. Um, and some these are a few CMS, uh, just pointing those out. Uh, I picked those up. I really like the box lady, girl, whatever. And then I like, there was a, another figure, the Aztec from the older CMS that I wanted to get, but I didn't end up getting him when I bought some of these. I thought I had him, but I didn't. Uh, and so then that's pretty much it for the room tour because that's basically my entire room. Only other thing that you'll see is that underneath some of these tables, I'll have bins uh, to store stuff. And then also, I really want to add some photo, like maybe like photos or posters, Star Wars posters, just to make this room look a little bit better. It's the basement, and it's not painted the best color either. I don't really like this. Uh, you do have a window and then a fake window below that, so that's really weird. Um, <laughs> So if we do get a little bit of natural light, I wish we got a little bit more. I know it's good for like stop motions and stuff, but 
it is what it is. It's not, I just, it looks nicer. So that's the reason for all the lamps and the Christmas lights above. Um, so that's kind of the reason for that. But that is basically going to wrap up this room tour. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I did. I love like kind of just showing you guys around. Um, showing you. I know I didn't really show you anywhere else. I didn't show you where I store my boxes or my instructions. Because that's really in a whole other part of the basement. Uh, and it's just like it doesn't make sense for me to show you. And it's kind of like a boring thing for me to talk about. So you just kind of got to see the main area of my room. That's not the biggest Lego room, but I've only been doing this for a year now, like an actual Lego room for a year. Um, it has been actually pretty much a year since I started this channel, almost. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and that's kind of my reasoning for filming this video is like now I've been doing this for a year. I've started to kind of have a setup for the space and I'm really happy with the way it is right now. I definitely wish I could have a main mock table here in the center, but other than that, uh, it works. It does its job. Um, it's maybe not the best setup, but I'm kind of trying to work through that. And that's kind of why you haven't seen any videos lately is because I have been sorting out all my pieces. Uh, and then I've just been trying to get this all in good shape, uh, so that I can do this room tour because it was a mess. Uh, what really happened is I was gone for three weeks and when I came back, you know, it, it, it was a mess before, and so I was just finally like, let's get this done, and now we can do a room tour. So, that's going to wrap up this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, consider subscribing below. Uh, I really uh, would appreciate it. Like the video if you like seeing my room, and comment down below what you think of my new microphone, my room, and anything else. Uh, but that's going to wrap it up. This is WHM Bricks signing off. See y'all guys next time.